Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. I'm Melomatic, and today we're playing Sumerians. Sumerians is a city building game inspired by the history of the 3rd millennium BC in Mesopotamia. It's a great time of urban growth and development, and so far this game is going to focus on urban planning, economy, and resources. No, no wars or attacks, at least yet, and I haven't really played this game, so we're just, we're just going to jump in. That's what we're going to do. So right here, we got to pick up, pick our map. Now, I don't know really anything about the history of Samaria or the Mesopotamian civilizations. I don't know anything. So, I mean, feel free to drop whatever you want in the comments. I'll, I'll check it out. This is, it does kind of raise my interest a little bit. So maybe I will start uh, looking into these things. But for now, we can uh, pick a map based on the difficulty. So we got beginner, normal, and easy. I'm going to go kind of the middle middle ground, go, go with easy. And uh, you can kind of see... We got the, the rivers, the water sources here, and then the green is kind of the farmable land. The, the brown is less favorable, but we could still build on that. So we're going to kind of find something, you know, one of these maps where we got a decent amount of all the resources. Uh, yeah, I think I think that one's pretty nice. This one, this one. Ah, they're all, you know, they're all kind of interesting. I'm pretty sure you could expand. So maybe if we start here, maybe we could expand out. Because that's not very much land. It's, it's a ton of water. It's a lot of farmable land. You know what? We're just going to go with that one. Let's, let's, let's go ahead. All right. Well, we got some music here. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Okay. We got the screen movement uh, with the mouse at the edge. Actually, this is like a decent amount of land. I got to be like, this is a good choice, I think. All right. We can take a look around. You can see literally the uh, the greener grass is where the uh, the, the more fort more fertile soil I can't speak is. So we're gonna start off by putting our little uh, our warehouse down right here, and I gotta see what was it that rotates. Here we go. All right, we're gonna pop this down right on the edge, like right in the corner here. I think that's gonna work out okay. Now we're gonna have to zone, but uh, before that, let's do some farming. So we got two different types of farming, right? Citizens farming, and uh, there's another for form of farming here that is actually our currency for our colony. So, like, that's a, you know, there's no coin or anything. We're going to be dealing with wheat is going to be the currency for paying people and uh, trading. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. So right now, let's get, let's uh, zone for some houses. So we're going to have the, the, the town, the actual livable areas kind of be over here on the less farmable soil we're just gonna try this out man we'll see how this goes all right there we go right there they do the uh they, they do the path automatically by walking but uh you can you can lay a path on your own if you wanted to i'm just gonna let them kind of naturally develop it the way they go now we got to put uh, the citizen farming and the citizen farming from what i understand is their actual like food supply and they should pretty much handle it on their own. We're gonna put like nine. Let's just go with a nine, a nine square little farmland. I think that'll work okay. All right, now we'll let them work on that. They should get their food supply going. This is gonna be interesting. I don't know how long it's gonna go because I mean, there's a lot of things to pay attention to. It's fairly. I mean, it's pretty much similar to pretty much every every other city building game as far as managing population and resources, but. I'm going to have to really, like, look into some of these things. Because economy is where I kind of usually don't pay attention, and then I get into trouble. But for now, we got to build, like, a state building, I think. But let's get our actual, uh, our, our state farming. <laughs> our state farm. Oh, that's the max size right there. So we're just going to go with that for now. And we also need a farming house. And I don't know if this is um, this works for both types of farms, to be honest. So let's see. We're, we're just going to put it like right here. Because I think it might. Just in case this is the one they use for both. Just put that right there. Very nice. This is looking great. So I haven't really looked looked through all the uh, the structures that we got. 
So what do we got here? Uh, a builder's... Oh, well, yeah. A builder's uh, workplace. A mud pit. We're going to have to do that pretty soon, actually. Transporters. See, there's our small warehouse we got. A granary. Warehouse. Port. There's actually quite a bit of things you could do. Apparently, you can eventually trade and expand. And that's the goal. We're going to freaking turn this colony into a giant... Uh, like a giant... Uh, kingdom of sorts, you know? Where are our people, by the way? I don't know where they're at. I don't know what's happening. Oh, are we paused? No, we're not paused. I could speed up the time. I might have to build a uh, the builders. Let's see, where's that at? Yeah, builders here. Oh, that covers a pretty large area, huh? Let's put the builders workshop, like, pretty much right here next to the, uh, the warehouse or maybe even across yeah let's go like right there right across from the houses we can kind of keep the housing over here keep kind of industry in this area we'll have to have commerce somewhere as well okay all the people were apparently in their houses let's let's take a look at what these people look like the animations and whatnot not bad honestly I mean everything oh we got we got some glitching down here they're stuck Hopefully that corrects itself. But our population's up to 51. We've gained 10 people just since we built, so that's pretty cool. I don't know how our uh, food supply is going. Let's see what the uh, the demand is. So quality of life is pretty high. Our temples and trade are very low because we don't have either one happening. And our demand. So what do we what do we need? We need workshops and we need market stalls. So let's uh let's see what we can do with that. Market stalls, where would that be? Production? Okay, yeah, let's get some uh let's get some workshops going. Clay pit. I think that needs to be in the uh fertile area. And we'll just do that over here next to the water. Cause we'll probably do our mud pit over here as well. So let's do that. And where is the mud pit? Let's th go ahead and throw that down as well. Nice giant mud pit. Because I know we're going to need both of those things to construct. Alright. Uh, a granary, warehouse. What else What else do we need, dude? Okay. I don't know if we can... Can we do all this stuff like right off the bat? Seems like you'd have to wait for some of it. Where's the market? Oh, it's probably zoning, right? Cit oh, citizen workshops. Right here. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. So we're going to put these right next to this uh, builder's area. We'll just go with the six, I guess. Let's see what the demand looks like still. Kind of as we do that, maybe that'll uh, balance back out. All right. Now we need some market stalls. Okay. Where should the market be? Ah, oh, that's going to be like, it's kind of crooked. It's going to drive me insane, dude. Can I, can I cancel that? Yeah, cancel that. Cancel, cancel. Okay. Cancel that. Let's go back to do that a little bit more symmetrical. As much as possible, at least. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay. Actually, you know what we could do? We could build a path, right? A path along the housing and a path right here. And we could have the market... Right here in the middle. I think that'd be cool. Hold on. I wanted to do that like together. Hold on. Cancel that. I don't know if there's a di makes a difference. But if we can, we'll just do it together like that. There we go. D double row. Alright. So far, so good. We got... Oh, what is this about? Why is it like red? Was it red before? Citizen farming demand... Oh, no, okay, so those things are being built. It's going to help a little bit. I guess let's speed up the time. We're already in month 11. We're gaining people, though. And the demand for uh, housing is going up a little bit. Oh, no, it dropped down again. Demand for citizen farming. We might need to increase the, uh, the citizen farming fairly soon. So I guess even though those plots are zoned, they're only going to build what they need, it seems like. Which is, that's actually kind of cool. 
All right, quality of life is uh, looking pretty good. The demand for things is going down. Oh, people want to live in the city. Look at that. 76 people already. That's great, dude. That is great. All right, let's look at some of these things. Some of these other uh, things here. So we would need uh, bricks for some of this stuff. If you can see down at the bottom, I think that's bricks. 60 bricks. So we do need to actually make the, uh, the brickyard. And it, it produces bricks already. So if we put that, does it need to be... I guess it doesn't matter where this is, actually. So if we keep industry kind of over here... Just maybe like right in the back. Yeah, right behind the uh, the builders. Let's just do that. We'll just do one for now. See if that does it. The music stopped. Now it's silent. So if you hear music, it's going to be music I put in. Because it's very awkward and silent right now. Oh, there we go. There's the, there's the jams. You know, so far I like it. It's looking pretty good. Actually, hold on. We're doing very horrible in uh in our in our uh like our money right so let's see what this is about it's seeded it's barley i guess we could choose barley or flax i guess i don't know if it matters but that, that is the state filled nothing's been produced yet so it should do it automatically let's take a look population so right here we got farming so is this the state farming right here no. Well, that is the, the farming house, I guess. The farming building. Keep things going. I don't know. I don't know how we're supposed to, uh, how we're supposed to manage this. The state has run out of grain to pay salaries and several factions have fought for power. 53 people have died. Oh, no, what? 53 people have died or have left the city. 17 migrants have been scared away. 305 grain has been raised to restore the state. All right, well, let's not fast forward. I don't know what that's about. But let's also, I realize we don't have any wells in the in the area, so let's put a well down. Because I'm assuming we, get, we probably need that. Now, as far as the state, the state farm over here goes, how do we, uh... How do we figure this out? Let's do some more housing. I think we might need more people. Actually, I don't know if that's true. We're just gonna, we're just experimenting. We're gonna see. Okay, this looks like it's being harvested now, so maybe we'll be good on uh, money pretty soon. But we need more people. Because we have, uh, we have plenty of jobs actually available. If we look right here, we got 71 available jobs. Nobody's jobless though, so that's, that's good. But we need more people. Let's see what this looks like as they bring this into the warehouse. That changes like our uh, our actual wealth status. Let's see where are they taking it? Okay, they're taking it to the farm. Okay, that added to it. That did add to it, just not very much. And I don't know if there's a. F I might need to put one of these closer to these fields over here. That might be something we need to do. Because the, the, this is one for both of these things, and I don't know if, uh, there should be private farmers for each one, right? Private workers, state workers, jobless. So the state workers should be these guys. So I almost wonder if I should put a, another one of these. One that's, like, specifically for the state, right? Let's put more farmland as well. See how that goes. For this one, we'll change it to flax, I guess. I don't know if it makes a difference. All right, let's see if we can avoid a uh, collapse. <laughs> Another collapse. Ah, the state has run out of grain again. Dude, I don't know what the hell. There's only so fast I can make this grain grow. I might be, maybe I expanded too fast. I got too many people in here. That might be part of the problem. But we got 87 people. I, I, I don't know how to, like, how to stop people from coming in. So 
that away. People want to live in the city arriving. What is this? See signs over migrants. Okay, so we can see new people coming in. Lots of state workers. So I don't know what that's about. I don't know why it's not it's not really giving me a good uh understanding, right? And then I see the demand over here. But there's still plots here for that. I don't know why they're uh it's got like high demand, but it needs to be upgraded. Alright, needs to upgrade mud wall. So no walls there, no workers. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, dude. Is there a way to keep people from coming in until we get like kind of stabilized? Guess I could raise the taxes, maybe. This year, two seventy nine. Previous year, zero. Maybe I'll raise the taxes just a bit, just a little bit. State workers, so we go up to four hundred grain. Now that I got multiple fields, maybe it will uh, be slightly more. I don't know. I don't know if I have enough workers to cover this this one over here as well. I think I'm gonna actually get rid of this one. Let's get rid of this, uh, there we go. No workers over here, max workers over here. All right, and then I'm gonna put one of those uh, farmhouses over here closer to the, uh, the citizen's farm. I actually don't need, I don't know if they actually need that. They might not actually need that at all. Is there like a description? Not really. I guess we'll kind of see. We're up to 600 grain, though. That's good. See, we got more workers over here. So now instead of having 10 and 10, I can have all 20 over here. And then uh, citizens should be doing their own farming just from the house, I think. I think. 0 of 20. 12 of 20. Okay, so they do need more people over here. I might have to drop this down as far as employees go just a little. And go from there. All right, how's it looking now? Private workers, 21, okay. Not gonna worry about marking uh, marking them right now. We got our grain, grain up a little bit. I don't know if it's gonna be enough though, but maybe with both of these fields going, it will be. So let's take a look at what else we can do. We can do transporters. They're needed to, uh... Oh, they transport... Oh, they use donkeys to transport. That'd probably make things so much easier. So let's put this right over here. It's going to cover everything it should anyways. Yeah, let's put that right there. Now, our, our grain supply is doing pretty good. We got two giant fields over here that are, like, doing pretty well. But the, uh, the citizen farming over here is kind of suffering a little bit just doesn't have workers. I don't know if, I don't know why that is. I don't know if that's just because everybody's actually working for the state or the like the private working, I guess, for like the mud and the you know, bricks and whatnot. That's what it kind of seems like. Even though we don't have any bricks. Like they're not actually building any bricks. We got a little bit of clay and the same amount of mud. I don't know what they're doing. Both of them are staffed up, but it's just not they're not doing anything. But let's see, maybe this donkey thing will kind of help with the transportation of, of the grains. Maybe we'll kind of, I don't know, maybe we'll kind of, uh, maybe that'll help us out. I don't know. I don't know what to expect, man. I'm new to this game. Maybe we should build a temple. It might be another thing we could do to help with the, uh, the, the uh, reputation, right? Because if you look at our reputation right now, quality of life's pretty good. People still want to live in the city, but there's no temples or trade. So that might be what we need to do now. Um, let's see. Let's go over to... Where would the temples be? Right here. I think we'll just go with the basic one right here. Because it's only going to require 20 mud. And I think it should probably be kind of the center... The central location, maybe? Yeah, that'll be nice. We'll put a path around it. Make it extra... Extra nice. There we go. That's as good as it's going to be, I think. Now, as for trade... Oh, let's look over here. Let's see how, how long it takes them to actually store this and to show that we're doing okay. We're doing okay as far as grains. Now, we got some people walking over here. Oh, to the warehouse. Very nice. It's a small warehouse. 
Looks like this is where we store our grain for now. Should be storing pretty much everything, but whatever. Just accepting everything. Capacity is 800. I wonder if that has anything to do with um, why we've been losing out on grain. I don't see how. Alright, that amount should be going up as they drop it into this little uh, farming house. Got no workers over here right now. Oh, I gotta buy a donkey. Okay. Um, let's just buy one for now. Since we're not, uh, we're, we're not doing amazingly on grains, and we might get to a point where we run out again. But they're still, they're still collecting. I think one donkey will be good for now. And hopefully that'll get us one, at least one worker in there. It should do it automatically if there's like an available worker, right? I mean, we're gaining people. There's no job list still. Let's see, is this guy... Where are you going? Okay, he's a transporter. Good. So he's going to go over there and work. Perfect. Very nice. Okay, we're doing pretty good, actually, right now. Doing pretty good, but we got a lot more people, too. So... But it should be fine. I think when I was looking at the, the little farming thing right here, Citizens Farming, I think it was, I don't know what I was looking at. Maybe the description in Steam, it was saying uh, the people will uh, deal with their food on their own so long as we have the plots laid out. So I don't think we'll have to worry about this. I think they'll just, and the same with the houses or any of the zoning. I think it just, um, if you plot out the zoning, it'll just be there or not depending on the demand. So, I mean, we can kind of loosely follow this, but as long as we got enough of the plots laid out, we should be okay. Is the temple done yet? The temple is not done yet. Okay, we're doing pretty good. We're doing alright. They haven't built the uh, the temple yet, I don't know why. I've been trying to figure out where exactly we're going wrong. But in each one of these, the clay pit and the mud pit, it has its own storage, but it only holds so much. And I don't know if I have to build another storage for it, but if you look right here... There's not even a there, the mud and uh, and copper. I mean mud and clay. There's clay, but I can't store mud anywhere. So I don't know, and it's not storing there. Also enabled it to store in the builder's building, but uh, I still don't have any in there for their inventory. So I don't know why the building isn't taking place. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. And I should have plenty of people. We're up to almost 200 people, and we're doing pretty good on um uh, like our uh, our wheat. Our wheat supply. We also have flax, but I was going to say, the flax doesn't contribute to our overall, like, currency. So, I don't know. I might change this, actually, to wheat or barley as well. Until uh, we figure out what the flax is actually for. But overall, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Once we get the temple built, that'll help us a lot. Because our reputation is very low. Very low. And I think, uh, in order to upgrade we're gonna have to build walls around some of this stuff so but I, I just wanted this temple built already I don't know why it's not going I don't know why it's not happening because there's nothing else having to be built as far as I can tell maybe I need to build another uh, another builders place we'll try that I guess because I don't know if maybe these dudes are just constantly building houses or something no idea. But it looks like we're actually doing pretty good as population goes. We got like our housing pretty much full and the uh, the uh, freaking community farming over here pretty much at max. So it's, it's doing well. It's doing well. And now if we could just get this freaking temple made. So look, they're going over to build this place. But they're not building this. I don't know why. We have plenty of mud. If you look over here, we have a hundred. In, uh, in storage. So I don't know what that's about. Um, I don't know. Let's let's cancel it out and try to put another one. And see what happens. Because it needs eight workers. It increases authority. There's no reason it shouldn't be working. I don't know why they're not going to build it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to figure that out, I guess. But uh, this video's gone on long enough. I think that's pretty good for our first episode. First look. 
part one of Sumerians. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to play it. Let me know if you have any tips. Because I can't get them to build this friggin' mud temple. But, uh, you know, we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. And I think this is early access, right? So there will probably be changes and, you know, possibly updates that cause you to have to restart. I don't know. But uh, keep that in mind if you noticed any glitches or if you feel like maybe there's not enough. I feel like there's probably going to be more added in. But uh, in the meantime, I like it. I like what I'm seeing. I'll catch you on the next video. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And have a good one.